Excluding skin cancer, colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer in men and women in the United States. But many adults are not getting the recommended screening test for it, a colonoscopy. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Calvin says a blood test may provide another tool to help catch this cancer early, Beth. And Christine, I think we should say out of the gate that, you know, this, that a colonoscopy is really still the gold standard for colorectal cancer screening. And this blood test will not replace the need to get a colonoscopy. It's designed for people who are at average risk for colorectal cancer, but would like some answers. Danny Gussman has come to any lab test now in Buckhead for a blood test he's hoping will give him some answers about a disease that hits close to home for the 56-year-old father of four, colorectal cancer. I had a very close friend that died several years ago from colon cancer and I'm keenly aware of some of the ramifications of, of not getting tested. So I like to, to stay up and make sure I'm current on, on all my tests. Gussman, who works in commercial real estate, says he had a colonoscopy about three and a half years ago and got the all clear for another 10 years. But he's decided to try this FDA approved blood test for colorectal cancer that any lab test now recently began offering. So it's very quick. It's just a slight jab of a needle and it took about 45 seconds altogether. Aaron Glinsky is the CEO of any lab test now in Georgia, which offers direct to lab tests like this. We'll have you in and out in about 15 minutes. We take one tube of blood and you get your results in 10 days. The test, which is $379 out of pocket, is designed for people who are 45 or older who are at average risk of colorectal cancer. The blood test is looking for three proteins that show up in the blood that are an indicator of potential colorectal cancer. The American Cancer Society says while colorectal cancer cells can sometimes produce tumor markers in the blood that may suggest a person might have colorectal cancer, these blood tests should not be used alone to screen for or diagnose cancer. And Glinsky says any lab test now agrees with that. Colonoscopy is always the first line test. So this doesn't replace a colonoscopy, but it can be used in between your scheduled colonoscopies. If his test result is negative, Glussman will get an email. On a positive test, we have a medical team that contacts you directly and suggests what the next steps are. We'll suggest you see a gastroenterologist and uh, they'll give you further guidance. And Danny Glussman says this test for him is about peace of mind. It's just sort of a verification that I don't have any cancer cells in my body and, you know, gives me a little bit of comfort knowing that for the next couple of years. And if your test results are abnormal, you'll likely need a colonoscopy to figure out what's going on. And the same thing if you do the fecal test, you know, that you can do at home, Christine. If you get an abnormal, you know, result, you're going to need to get a colonoscopy anyway. Yeah. Colonoscopy is recommended for people who are of average risk starting at age 45. If you have a family history or you have, you know, other risk factors, you need to talk to your doctor about when to start screening and getting sure. a colonoscopy. And that blood test, like you said, doesn't replace the colonoscopy. Absolutely not. But yeah. what a great way to get more information yep. those blood tests yep. it's a great uh, little tool there all right thanks so much beth